Howdy, good people of the internet. Um, in today's video, we're taking a look at the new release of Division 23, which is like led by Petrify. That's how I learned a lot of information about it. But it is called Flashpoint. So this is, I would say, it's like Phantom Forces, but more tact tactical. So it really took a battlefield approach to how spawns work and all that and i think that really changes up the pace of the game so it's slow uh, it's on the slower side like the movement uh all the animations for all the handling is a little bit slower which makes it a lot more tactical so in the like competitive side of this game whenever it releases i know phantom forces already had a competitive side in like the beta but whenever this game actually has a competitive side it's going to be pretty interesting so what I gotta do a lot in the pre-alpha um, for like testing purposes, cause I was an early tester and that's where you're seeing the footage here. Um, there was a lot of sniping and most people were using like an AR or an AKM. So that is, that, that, that style, it was a little bit awkward. I think there was too many snipers and it just made it like a sniper off and you weren't really getting into those, those close quarters combat situations and it was uh, it, w it wasn't it wasn't the best but they've really changed up the pacing of the game um i was talking to petrify the other day before i made this video and he was talking about all the pacing changes they've done in the uh pre-alpha events that i didn't attend so yeah it should be pretty good whenever it's released in alpha i know they're actually hosting a pre-alpha event right now that i'm not participating in i've participated in like three or four of them now so i've like I've gotten enough footage that I wanted to like show off. I haven't done anything insane, like got in any insane kills whatso like whatsoever. I know there's other people who are getting like quad feeds already, but that's just not me. Uh, they added a bolting animation to the sniper. I was surprised they didn't have one before, but yeah, it's actually a super duper fun game, um, and I can't wait to like stream it when it finally comes out to an open alpha. That's what they're gonna do. Uh, it has a battle pass when it's released. That's just I'm assuming assuming so they can recoup some of their funds or like for the time they've spent uh, making this game. Um, and yeah, I, they didn't get into the accelerator program from what I've heard, and that means like they've been just doing this all on their own time. So hopefully, uh, we'll see how it comes out. Like I mean, the game looks amazing. Petrify is amazing at doing the models. I'm not sure he did the player models, but. His work on the gun models are absolutely amazing. I love the polygon style, like how AR2 does it, like polygon style weapons. I just love them so much. I don't know what it is, but they just, they're always so clean. You don't get all those like circular meshes that are funky. They're just like so clean. They have the nice edges. So I, I've been really enjoying it so far. There's probably gonna be a few bugs, but most of them, like Petrify is like guaranteeing me that like mo every single major bug that they've had has already been fixed. Like there's a few, last time I was testing that would affect how you could spawn in but apparently those have been fixed now so it should be like pretty heckin good also my hair it was looking pretty fine today so I just gotta show it off because I had spent a, a decent time doing it because I was gonna do a face cam video because I didn't want to just voice over on some flashpoint gameplay I just I, I I just I just want to put a face cam in there. I haven't done a face cam video in forever, so I hope you guys do enjoy. I'm not sure uh, what specifically they're going for because they are going to add some smaller maps in there eventually. But there's this one really big map. It's not an amazing map at the moment. There's a lot of like open spaces, but you kind of need those open spaces to do a lot. I think it's a little bit obscenely big for what it is. But I know they're gonna add some smaller maps. We'll get a feel for the actual pacing probably uh, a few weeks later into the alpha when they've added some more maps, some more gear, like some actual content to the game. It already has enough content. It's gonna be fun to play. So there's like four guns, there's some secondaries, there's some equipment, like med kits, sort of glitch, but they like, it's super fun to use. They have spawning beacons. Those are gonna be like med, uh, med kits and spawning beacons. I'm predicting those are gonna be like the OP ones because spawning beacons, you can like basically spawn across the map and med kits, they allow you to heal like a third of your health or something, pretty OP. And you can use them multiple times in like quick succession. I'm not sure if they're gonna keep that in there. And there's some glitches where you can use them like multiple times really fast, but yeah, it should be, should be pretty good. But yeah, I'm super hyped for this game. I can't wait to actually see what it is, 
when it finally reaches beta, it might do the thing like freaking APOC 2 where we're still waiting here years later and it hasn't hit beta yet. But I mean, it's already open alpha. You don't have to pay anything for it. So that's nice. You just have a battle pass that you can buy optional. I'll probably buy it uh, just so I can get some of the exclusive skins. I didn't buy it. I know some people and the early testers actually bought it. Uh, but I didn't because I, I, I questioned them at the very start. I was like, uh, if I buy this right now because I saw it in the store of the game. Um, but they told me no because I hadn't even worked on it yet. But they have. Um, they're working on the XP progression for it. So it might not be set in stone or anything. So you may have your battle pass be glitchy. Probably not. I know they are saying that they're making it easier to get to different tiers on the battle pass. So maybe it'll be just super easy when you get it first try and then it'll progressively get harder as they update it but who knows um it's 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 a pretty fun game a large part of it is going to be vehicles it's basically turning into base wars uh you get um some like trucks or whatever at the very start i don't know what they're called in apoc 2 they're, they're not girls but they're like armored vehicles and if it's base wars uh we're gonna have like fighter jets or whatever but i i'm not sure about fighter jets if you look in the thumbnail of the game they actually do have like a jet and a helicopter i'm not sure how that's gonna be in the actual game if it's like themed after battlefield maybe they will have some of those types of equipment but i'm not sure how much it's gonna be themed off after battlefield they're kind of going for like a mixed approach so maybe on some maps it's gonna be like call of duty but arcade shooter type game but on other maps are going to be very tactical like if they introduce game modes like search and destroy then it could like turn into like a csgo type deal but i mean it's not going to be a csgo but like competitive because there's going to be 64 player servers 64 keep in mind 64 that's insane 64 players it's pretty heckin insane but yeah 64 player servers i can't wait that's a lot that's a lot of players I don't think I've seen like a game have that many players in a while, especially an FPS game. And like when we were playing it, there is essentially no lag whatsoever. It said like servers crashed sometimes in the beginning, but later on in the testing, like they were doing perfect. Like the servers, apparently there wasn't any memory leaks, which is really surprising. And yeah, they were doing really well. So I'm, I, I'm like super excited about this. I can't wait to have like a bunch of lobbies actually fill up and be able to stream the game. And yeah, I hope they're pretty active in their like anti-cheat campaign <laughs> against cheaters. Roblox games kind of have that issue, like bad business. It's so hard to get into a lobby that within like an hour or so, there'll be like a cheater usually. And sometimes you just join into a lobby. Like I joined into a lobby the other day and there was like three cheaters. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this game or this video. And I hope you guys do enjoy this game when it comes out. I'll have a link in the description to the game and to the Discord and everything so you guys can go and check it out. I really hope to see you guys in the game. And yeah, I'm out. Pasadios, my dudes.